Hey guys, uh, back with another video. I kind of thought I'd update you guys on where I'm at with the car. I haven't really been recording recently. It's because I really haven't felt like it. But I thought I would swing in and show you guys where I'm at. I kind of left the sail panel on the uh, A-pillar. I don't even know if you can call it these guards or I don't know. But they're kind of faded and they were turning less of a black and more like a gray. So I decided to use uh, some crystalline paint. I've always liked this stuff. My grandpa told me that's what I should use if I'm restoring the interior of my car, other than the vinyl stuff, uh, the plastic stuff, and metal used just for soleum. I've used about like three coats, and I'd like to say that it's worked pretty well. So, yeah, now uh, working on the interior, I'll swing in and show you. Hopefully you guys can see this. I masked off the dash pad and I'm just focusing on painting the A-pillars and the front of the dash. It was a little sun faded and had some rust spots on it, so I figured I'd come in here and try to spruce it up a little bit. I am gonna take off these, I forget what these are called, it's like kicker panel. I someone tell me in the comment section what those are called. And also someone tell me in the comment section if Rustoleum is actually what you should be using. If not, I will gladly do it again. I just want to get the best product out of my car and make it look as nice as possible. Uh, I thought I would update you guys also on, I'm thinking about changing transmissions from a, I have a turbo 350 in it right now. And my grandpa has a Muncie four speed just sitting around. So I thought I would throw that in there to see if I want a manual or not. If that all goes well, then I think about upgrading to a Tremec 5 speed. Uh, everyone in the Facebook uh, 1970 to 1973 Camaro group all say that the Tremec 5 speed is the best transmission to have in your Camaro. But that'll be later down the road. That's like a $4,000 upgrade, and I don't have the cash right now for that. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little time lapse of me working on this. Also, I almost forgot one last thing. I did paint and uh, put in these support arms for the engine bay. I'm not really sure what they're called exactly, but I did put them in because uh, I think they're supposed to be there. So I just got the first coat on. I'd say it looks pretty good. I just tried to go for coverage. I didn't try to completely coat the thing in black paint the first time. I think it looked crappy. Just try to get it on there. And second coat, and then I'll try to go for more coverage. But I'd say it looks pretty nice. I guess we'll see after it dries. Also a little update on the gauge cluster situation. I'm having a little trouble with the tack. I took it out from the bezel and disconnected it from the harness. It still didn't work. I wired it straight from the distributor to the tack and then grounded it, turned the car on, thinking it would send a signal to the tack and work, but it didn't. I it's there's power coming from the distributor, but it's not getting to the tack somehow. I, I think the tack is actually maybe bad. I just had to buy a new one. I tell you more money I guess spent on this damn thing. So I just checked and it is ready for the second coat, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that. The second coat looks like it went on pretty nicely. I guess we'll see when it dries though. So this is just a quick video today, summing up what I've done to the car in the past couple days. Definitely down in the comment section, tell me what you guys think about the car parts that I've painted, uh, the Rust-Oleum paints, and also the four-speed that I'm thinking about swapping into the car. I 
think that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching.